American reality TV star Portia Williams is most well known for her turn in the popular Bravo series The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Having joined the series about halfway through its fifth season, she'd spend the next eight years turning herself into one of the most popular stars in the show before recently departing to launch her own spin-off, Portia's Family Matters in 2021. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year, so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After beginning her run on Housewives while married to former NFL player Cordell Stewart, the two of them would divorce in 2013, and Portia walked away empty-handed from the split, meaning no money, no property, nothing. Of course, since she was still a part of the television series with the phrase Housewives in the title, she needed to find herself a new home to live in fast. So in 2016, she took to Instagram to announce that she had bought herself her very first home. Located about 30 miles outside of Atlanta in Duluth, Georgia, Portia dropped $1.1 million on a gorgeous 5,920 square foot mansion that's situated in the midst of a golf community and boasts five bedrooms as well as five bathrooms and two powder rooms. When it comes to the interior of this home, one of the first things you'll notice is its front foyer with black and white checkerboard marble floors, a sweeping central staircase, and an elegant chandelier hanging from above. Situated just behind that central entry is the home's living room, which is flooded with light from floor to ceiling windows and anchored by one of the home's five extravagant fireplaces. Over in Portia's kitchen, you'll discover cabinets made out of intricate millwork, as well as a large central island with bar seating for four, and a short walk from there is her vintage looking dining room. If you thought Portia's kitchen featured a lot of wood, just wait till you lay eyes on her home office. You ask me, this one of a kind room is about as cozy and charming as it gets. Upstairs, it won't take long for you to stumble upon Portia's primary suite, which not only includes one of the highest vaulted ceilings I've ever seen in a bedchamber, but also an incredible ensuite fashioned out of marble and mosaic tile with a soaking tub and separate glass shower. Elsewhere on the top floor are a series of rooms for children as well as two further guest suites. Wrapping things up out back is a seating area sheltered by a stone awning as well as a playground and a surprisingly small patch of grass for a yard, considering how gigantic everything else is in this home appears to be. While living here over the course of five years, Portia would get engaged and have a child with Dennis McKinley, before that relationship would also ultimately come to an end. Lucky for her, shortly thereafter, she met an entrepreneur, Simon Gubadia, a businessman worth an estimated $40 million. After secretly dating for only one month, Portia would shock the world by announcing her engagement to Simon in May of 2021, and part of their plans for the future involved finding a new home that they could share together. That being said, it's not like leaving behind this home was easy for Portia. She told the cameras during Portia's Family Matters, my home for me has been a manifestation of my independence. Me working hard, being able to afford a home like this in a gated community, raising my daughter on my own, it has been very fulfilling to me. It does feel like I'm leaving a piece of Portia. But now that she was ready to settle down with Simon, Portia decided to hand over the keys of her famous Duluth mansion to her mother, Diane. If gifting your mom a multi-million dollar mansion doesn't win you daughter of the year, I don't know what will. Anyway, now that we know a bit about of Portia's former home, let's check out where she's living now. With her family growing a little bit bigger, Portia and Simon bought themselves a gigantic new home situated on two acres of land for $6.5 million. Originally constructed in 2018, this new mansion boasts a ridiculous 50,284 square feet of space, including five bedrooms as well as five bathrooms, and it's sculpted in a traditional Mediterranean style. A paved white walkway situated smack dab in the middle of the front yard leads to the home's grand looking doorway that's made almost totally out of glass. 
Since moving in last year, Portia has shared a few glimpses of this home's stunning interiors over on social media. For instance, last summer she posted this clip of her decorating several rooms in the house with flowers and plants, including a dining area that's been furnished with a long black table, white chairs, gray seats with an interesting geometric design, and a chandelier. Not far from there is a trim doorway that connects Portia's dining room to her kitchen, which boasts a spacious island surrounded by blue chairs, bright white cabinets that occupy the better part of two walls, and some charming alternating backsplash patterns. Then over in the living room, there's a mirrored sideboard beneath a wall-mounted TV, as well as two curved white couches, round brown coffee tables, and plenty of windows. Since Portia and Simon are both such busy people, it only makes sense that their home office is fit to serve any purpose. Unlike most other home offices, this one boasts a ton of space alongside neutral colored walls with gold accents scattered throughout. There's even an attention-grabbing piece of art hanging on the far wall and pattern drapes as well as a soaring ceiling. Upstairs, one of the couple's guest rooms exudes a jungle-like theme with a bunch of plant life placed all throughout. The furnishings have also been handpicked in a white hue to provide a striking contrast against the emerald-like green of the foliage. And while that bedroom might look a little wild, her gargantuan walk-in closets are totally and systematically organized for herself, her daughter, and Simon as well. Of course, with this property being located on nearly two acres of land, you'd expect the outside of the home to be just as spectacular as the inside, and you wouldn't be wrong. Out here, the mansion is reminiscent of a five-star beachside resort with its white brick walls, arched windows, and a muted red-colored roof. There's even a swimming pool alongside an outdoor lounge area where the family can relax and unwind while taking in a movie on their massive outdoor screen. Now that Porsche is showing off this remarkable estate on a regular basis as part of her new reality series, it's only a matter of time before this new property integrates itself with her millions of fans. Just like Portia herself, it will probably take everyone a little time to adjust to their new surroundings, but with a home this epic, it's really only a matter of time before Portia's former house is a distant memory for her. All right, that'll bring this latest edition of House Tour to a close. Thanks for watching, and before you head out, please take a moment to answer the following question. If you viewed your former home as a symbol of your independence, would you hold on to it like Portia by passing it along to a direct family? member or sell it anyway to collect the big payday. If it were me, I might keep it because you never know what could happen. And it's nice to give a host to your mom. Who wouldn't want to do that? But let me know what you would do in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Care the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!